Oh, man. Morning, Pinky. Morning, Flame. Wait, is it even, wait, is it even morning? It looks so gloomy out here. Yep, it's morning. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, Pinky, I do have to say thank you for, uh, letting me spend the night out here. No problem. I mean, it's, I mean, we hardly have any company out here. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks really nice out here. Wait, where am I again? My family's rock farm. Oh, so this is the rock farm. Huh, it's, uh, definitely something. <laughs> Well, uh, Pinky, I do have to let, I do have to thank you for letting me stay here overnight, because after all it is, it's taking me a long while to finally get back to, a, to, um, Mobius. I mean, I'm out here with no Chaos Emeralds, and my Chaos Energy is, uh, a little bit low for a little while, and it takes a little bit of, uh, time to recharge and stuff. So, uh, yeah, thanks for letting me spend the night over here. It's fine. <laughs> So, uh, tell me, what do you do out here in this rock farm? Oh, we do all sorts of things. Mine rocks, study rocks, and all sorts of things. Well, that's basically what Maud does. <laughs> okay, well, tell me something. Uh, who lives out here with you? Well, there's my mom and my dad, but they're out at a rock convention. Oh, okay. Where is this convention? Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Because back in my world, we heard of a place called Baltimore, not Baltimore. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway. Anywho. Um. Anywho. When will your parents be back? Mm, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow or the day after. Okay. But wait a minute. Who's out here mining the farm? Who's out here mining the farm? Because if you're... Because if this is a farm, then don't you think we ought to keep the thing going? Well, don't worry. Me, there's me and my sisters. You already met Maud, so maybe I ought to introduce you to the others. Well, I don't mind. I guess I can meet your sisters. Yep, trust me. You're gonna love them. Well, alright. Go ahead and take me to your sisters. And here we are. Oh, um, okay. So, this is your family room, huh? Yep, this is my room. Yep, this is the living room. <laughs> and my sister is there. It's still in the kitchen eating. Oh, what do you guys eat? Oh, basically anything. Anything we can find. It's mainly, you know, rocks and stuff, but it's okay. Anyway... I better get my sisters. Oh, limestone pie, marble, limestone, marble. Pinky, would you please be quiet? I'm trying to eat my breakfast here. Oh, who's this? Limestone, this is the friend that I had over last night. I would like you to meet my friend, Flame. Oh, so you're this flame that that Pinky's always talking about. Uh, yeah. Um, it's nice to meet you. Let's get one thing straight here, Flame. While you're on this rock farm, you have to obey by our rules. Which means, whatever we do, you have to do. You, we mine rocks, you mine rocks. You, we destroy rocks, you destroy rocks. Oh, that will not be a problem for Flame. Believe it or not, he actually showed Maud yesterday he can destroy a rock with just one punch! Huh, one punch, huh? I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, trust me. Maud was definitely impressed. Maud was definitely impressed. Um, Pinky, how come your sis how come your sister Marble uh isn't talking? Oh, she doesn't talk much. She's a little bit shy when it comes to new people. Yeah, so don't even think about trying to get her to talk. Um, it's okay. I mean, I'm good when it comes to getting people to talk. She hasn't talked in years, so how are you going to get her to talk? Well, I can work my magic. 
Okay, let's see. <laughs> um, hey, Marble. It's nice to meet you. Um, my name is Flame. My name is Flame. And, uh, I heard so much about you. I heard that, you know, you're a little bit shy. So, I'm not gonna try any funny business on you. I just want to be your friend. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. Wow, she actually talked. She hasn't talked in years. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely my trick. I actually can get the words out of people. And believe it or not, I actually got a friend of mine who was mute, and she actually talked. She still doesn't talk as much, but she actually is talking. Yep, Flame is really, really special. Believe it or not, he's actually not a unicorn. He comes from another world called Mobius. Yeah, Mobius, it's a really, really great place. You see, there, there's walking, talking animals. There's walking, talking animals. And we face off against evil creatures and evil villains. Like, for example, our main villain by the name of Eggman or Robotnik. Eggman? Are you really making this up? No, of course. No, 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 no. One thing that Flame the Dragonhog never does is never lie. I never lie. Anyway, yes, Eggman, that's his name. Believe it or not, he actually has a goal. And the goal is to turn everything and everyone into a robot. You see, he wants to take over my world. But luckily, thanks to me and my brother, Sonic the Hedgehog, thanks to me and my brother, Sonic the Hedgehog, we actually put a, we actually put a um, stop to his plans every single time. Were there actually times he actually succeeded? Well, no, not really. No, not really. But there was that one time he actually did try to take... He actually did take over Mobius. For a short time, of course. That is, until my mother, Queen Alina, she actually stepped back in and took over again. <laughs> Your mother is a queen? You're royalty? Yep. I'm prin... Yep. In my mom's eyes, I'm a prince. But I'm... But now, I'm a king. <laughs> King Flame, at your service. Oh, well, <laughs> excuse me, your highness. Please, please, I don't want to hear any of that your highness stuff. Because well, cause just like my mom, I just want to be normal like everyone else, without no pampering, no fussing over, and all that other stuff. You just want to be plain and simple. Just call me Flame, all right? Well, okay. Well, I guess now that I know a little bit about you, I guess you don't have to work. Oh, trust me, I do want to work. Cause trust me, one thing I do, the one thing I do is really work hard. I mean, do you honestly think I just sit around all day in a throne room? Well, isn't that what you do? No, I don't. No, I don't do that. I mean, it would be nice to have a throne room and all that stuff, and I do do, and I do have a throne room. But I don't normally use it. Sometimes I'm out there on the field. I'm always out there on the battlefield, facing off against robots and evil and evil people and all sorts of other things. Wow, it must be really dangerous over there in your world. Do you think maybe we can come visit sometime? Hmm, maybe. Maybe if Pinkie Pie can even introduce you to um Amy. Yep, she's my Mobian counterpart. You see, ever you see. Just like with you ponies, there's somebody on Mobius that's just like you. That's just like you. And my friend Amy, well, friend slash sister-in-law, Amy, she's just like Pinky. She's, 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 she's pretty in pink, and she's really into the, and she's really into her husband, Sonic the Hedgehog, my brother. Just like how Pinky is really into Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I really am into Rainbow Dash. She's really amazing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Pinky. Yeah? You said that Maud lives here, too. Yep. So, where is she? Hmm. I don't know. Last time I saw her, she left really, really early in the morning. And you didn't say anything? You didn't say anything? Well, 
How could I? I mean, I was too busy working. Most of us, we don't really care about, you know, where we go and all that stuff. Where we go, where we go, it's none of the other's business. Just as long as we come back in one piece, okay? I mean, look, just because we don't have, just because we don't share much emotions out here, that doesn't mean that we don't care. I mean, look at Marvel. She cares about all of us. Yeah, she really does care about all of us. Same thing with, same thing with Limestone. She doesn't really show much emotion, but she really does show, she really does show how much she cares. Hey, Pinky, I do care about you a lot. Look, just because I always have a frown on my face and I always have a nasty attitude and all that other stuff, that doesn't mean that I don't love you, Pinky. Aw, I love you too, Limestone. Don't push it. I'm only being like this because we have a guest. Okay, okay. Okay, ladies, okay, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can try and get a little bit more words out of Marble Pie. Anyway, Marble, are you okay? How come you don't ever talk as much? Again, she doesn't talk much, so good luck trying to get a whole sentence out of her. <laughs> Trust me, there's nobody I can't get, I can't to get, there is nobody out there who I can't get to talk. Anyway, let's see, Marble. How come you're not talking as much? And plus, not only that, do you want to be my friend? Yes. Aww. <laughs> she really, she wants to be my friend. Well, that's good for her. But the big thing is, can you get a full sentence out of her? Well, let's see. So, so, um, Marble... Do you know where Maud went? Because if Limestone no, because if Limestone doesn't know where she is, then maybe you ought to know. Last time I saw her, she was walking to Ponyville. Oh, okay. So she's in Ponyville. That's okay. Wow. In all our years of trying to get Marble to talk, she actually talked for you. <laughs> yeah. You see, Flame actually has a way with the ladies. Not like that, you know. Not like in that way. It's like he understands them more. Well, yeah, that is true. Because, you see, when I was in Mobius, I actually have a thing called the Flame Effect. It basically works, their, it basically works uh, its charm on women, making them fall in love with me. <laughs> but, actually, turns out there, wasn't no, there was no such thing as the Flame Effect. It's just that the fact that I was half succubus. What's a succubus? Oh, uh, Pinky, do you not have any succubus out here? No, we don't have any succubus. Oh, well, basically a succubus is a uh, demon, is a demon that works its charm on, works its charm on people. Only so that way they can drain them of their life whenever they get the chance. So that they can drain them of their life when they get the chance. Because, trust and believe me, succubus is one people, one type of uh, thing you do not want to mess with. Huh. Well, you don't have to worry about me messing with no succubus. Me either. Aw. Matt, Marble is just so cute. She's just so cute. I mean, she's, she's so shy and stuff. She reminds me of Fluttershy a little bit. Fluttershy, they're really close friends, but Marble doesn't really share the love for animals Fluttershy has. Oh, well, that's okay, I guess. Wait a minute, hold up. Is that... Wait a minute. Boulder? Huh. Wait, how do you know Maud's pet rock? Well, she... Well, she, uh... Well, when I was in Ponyville, uh, yesterday, uh... I just came back from a date with Rarity. And, uh, Pinky introduced me to Maud, and she just so happened to have Boulder. And I just so happened to have my pet rock, too. You have a pet rock as well? What the heck is up with you guys? What the heck is up with you guys and pet rocks? Well, think about it. I mean, think about it. If you can't, I mean, think about it. If you can choose only one pet, then might as well go for a pet rock. At least you don't have to clean up after it, you don't have to walk it, you don't have to feed it, you don't have to do all that hassle. You just gotta let it sit there. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, but anyway. Um, what's your pet rock's name? Rubble. Rubble? Yeah. But actually, I actually did have one pet rock. I did have one pet rock. Uh, <laughs> his name, I forgot his name, but let's just say, let's just say he actually did turn into rubble next to my brother, Sonic. What happened? Well, basically what happened was, was that my brother, he was going into supersonic speed. I was playing with my other pet rock, and then next thing you know, as my brother was racing by... He, uh, created a sound barrier, and taught, and my rock flew with him, hit up against this bigger rock, and then it smashed. And so I settled for that other rock's sister. <laughs> and it's, and her name is, uh, Rubble. <laughs> wow, that's a really tragic story. Yeah, it is. May he rest in peace. Sis. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I know I'm not like Pinky, I'm, I know I'm not supposed to be cracking jokes or anything, but it's definitely crazy. Yeah, well, anyway, anyway, so, Mod is in, Mod is in Ponyville, right? Yeah. Hmm, well, I wonder if she'll be back. It's not like her to go into Ponyville without letting us know. Huh, well, I'm pretty sure she'll be back, she'll be back, she'll be back. Oh, uh, were you girls expecting someone? No. 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 Oh, well, okay. I guess I'll answer, the, I'll answer the door, because I can protect you guys, you know. Please, we have experience of handling, you know, strangers. I mean, like you, I was just about to buck you one. Okay, 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 easy there, easy limestone, easy. Anyway, let's see who's out here. Um, hello? Is anybody out here? It's me, Flame. Huh? Oh, it's Maud. Maud? Why is she knocking on the door of her own house? I honestly don't know. That's definitely funny. Anyway, let's see what Maud wants. Okay. Hey, Maud, everybody out here was wondering where the heck did you go? Oh. My. Sweet. Celestia. Maud, is that you? For Celestia's sake, Maud, what the heck happened to your hair? And tail! I just got a makeover at the beauty s at the spa. Whoa, and it's definitely something. You like it, Flame? Yeah, it looks great. Wait, hold up. Did you wait? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see if I got this straight here. Hmm. <clears throat> new eyeshadow, new mane look, a coiffed tail. I think I'm starting to piece this all together. You have a date with your boyfriend tonight, huh? I guess you can say that. Aw, well, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's really nice, Maud. Hmm, how surprising. Marble hasn't been able to speak for I don't know how long. Yeah, thanks to Flame here, he actually got her to talk a few words. Yeah, I, uh, actually did. <laughs> That's what's really special about you, Flame. You really know how to impress a girl. And do what most ladies don't do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, so, I heard that you actually have a boyfriend. I actually heard you have a boyfriend, Mod. Yes, I do. His name is Mud Briar. Mud Briar, huh. I wonder... So, what do you guys... So, he's actually really cool, huh? He's the coolest. Well, okay. Anyway, uh, so, um... Is so, uh, what is he like? He likes sticks. What? That's definitely something. Uh, but real quick, how the world can a pony that likes rocks end up with a pony that likes sticks? That's definitely something. Well, they met at a uh, rock convention. Wait a minute. 
What the world is a pony that like sticks doing at a rock collection? It's definitely complicated, but we ended up we ended up liking each other. Ah, oh, I see. So you guys fell in love. Well, right now we're in fall in like. Fall in like? I never I have never heard of that. <laughs> That's definitely interesting. <laughs> but anyway, uh, again, Maud, I really do like the mane and the tail and the uh, new eyeshadow and everything. It looks cool. Also, by the way, why the world are you not wearing your dress? You're just walking around, you know, bare. <laughs> I thought maybe I could try a new look. Well, it looks interesting, I guess. And plus, I can also see your cutie mark. Wait a minute, hold up. Is that a diamond right there? I can't tell if that's a diamond. No. It's just a rock cut like a diamond. Oh. I forgot because your specialty is rock cutting. Exactly. <laughs> well. Alright, ladies. I guess I might as well get to work helping you guys with this uh, work. So, Limestone, what type of work do we got to do? Well, right now... Our goal is to bust up that giant rock in the middle of the yard. Father's been wanting it broken down for years, but none of us are strong enough to get it down. Oh, well, that's where I come in. Yeah! Go ahead and show them, Flame! <laughs> Trust and believe me, Pinky. I will show them that I can easily bust up a rock with just one punch. Yes! I really want to see if that's actually hap that actually happened. Cause, trust and believe me, it's impossible to get this rock down. And trust me, I'm really strong enough to do this. Yeah, I hate to say this, but he's even stronger than Applejack! Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> Don't worry, Pinky. Your secret's safe with me. Your secret's safe with me. But you do realize that eventually, if uh, Applejack does find out, I have to tell the truth. Yeah, I know. Never lie to Applejack. Yeah, you never lie to Applejack. Trust me. Anyway, so, you girls ready for this rock to get busted? Yeah, it's about time we finally get this thing busted down. <laughs> okay, well, you guys are definitely going to love this. It's really, really good. Wait until you guys see this. It's really, really impressive. Okay. Here we go, ladies. <laughs> I hate showing off like this, because my power is off the scale. <laughs> I hate to show off my power like this, but here we go. One punch. Okay. Gotta focus all of my energy into this one punch. All right, I'm all set. Pinky, you might want to tell your sisters to back up. Here we go. And this rock is rubble. <laughs> no offense, rubble. <laughs> Three, two, one, and hello, rock dust. <clears throat> <laughs> still got the touch. Woo! Ah, <laughs> oh, man. My fingers are still hurting from yesterday when I punched a rock. Oh, man. But I'm okay. I'm okay. My hand, my hoof still hurt a little bit, but I think I'll be fine. <laughs> uh, are your sisters okay? They're speechless. Well, that was definitely impressive. <laughs> You weren't lying when you said that you busted up a rock with one punch. All my life, I've never seen anybody bust up a rock with one punch. That's very, very impressive. <laughs> yeah. What did you think, uh, Marble? It was awesome. Aw, thanks. <laughs> and, Maud, what do you think? Awesome as always, Flame. Aw, well, thanks. You know, if you want, you can always get a job working as a farmhand out here. We can always use an extra rock buster. Well, I guess, but maybe if you can talk to your father about that. I mean, does he handle all the uh, 
employments out here? Yes, he does. Oh, well, okay. I guess I can... I guess I can work out here. Um, if I can't, then I guess maybe I can get a job over at Ponyville. I guess I can get a job over at Ponyville. Yeah, I mean, there are lots of jobs you can do. Plus, you'll be working with ponies that you know. Like, you can either work at the rock farm with me, or you can stay with Fluttershy and work at her cottage and help take care of animals. Or maybe you can get a job working with Applejack at her farm, or you can work with Rarity at the carousel, at the carousel boutique. Or maybe you can help, or maybe you can join the Wonder Cults with a Rainbow Dash. I am a really good flyer, maybe. Or maybe you can help Twilight with her castle. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe you can live with the, or maybe you can live with the princesses. Whoa, 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 Pinky! That's definitely a high request. I mean, living with the pony princesses—that's definitely a high order. That's definitely a high order, cause uh, they don't let any random pony join. But you're not any random pony. You're forgetting. You're actually a big hero out here in Mobius. Well, not Mobius. <laughs> well, you are a big hero in Mobius and in Ponyville. Eh, yeah, I am, I am, I am. <sighs> well, I'll think about trying to get a job here. Because after all, I do want to make extra, I do want to make some bits out here. I do want to make some bits. Yeah, because honestly, I don't think any store would take rings. Yeah, sorry. Because <laughs> all I have is rings. Rings? What the heck do rings have to do with this? Well, rings is basically our kind of currency back in Mobius. It's our type of money. It's our money. Hmm. And how much is a... And how much are rings? Well, that all depends on what type of ring it is. Are, if there's normal rings, then let's just say... Each ring costs a dollar or something. <laughs> each ring costs a dollar. It's quite interesting. But if you get like a star, but if you get like a red star ring, it costs a hundred dollars. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised how many rings my brother has over the years. How many does he have? He collects a lot of rings. Same thing with me and all our other friends. Where do you keep them all? That's a mis- that, that, my dear limestone pie, is a mystery. No one really knows where we keep all of our rings. No one really knows. Anyway, um... Anyway, I think I, uh... Might wash my- I think I might go wash my hooves and, uh... Come back down for breakfast. I think I might come back down for breakfast. Well, alright. Oh, and like I said before, you don't all, you don't have to work if you don't want to. But if you do, then feel free to grab a pickaxe, feel free to grab a hammer, or just wash your hooves. Because, you know, we got a lot of rock busting today. <laughs> well, alright. Well, I'll see you ladies in just a few minutes. Glad he's old, glad he's gone. Maud, what's the reason why you actually have your mane and tail like this? Because after what happened yesterday, you, uh, definitely changed. Wait, Pinky, what the world are you talking about? Well, after when Maud witnessed Flame bust that rock, she actually was acting a little bit different. Different how? Well, she's smiling a little bit more. She's smiling a little bit more. She actually has doing all sorts of weird rock formations. Like she, like she molded this rock earlier in the shape of fire. Weird. And now she's coming back with her mane all done and her tail. And she's wearing, her, and she's wearing new eyeshadow. So. If I had to put two and two together, and I know I will, I'm guessing she's doing all this because, well, she's trying to impress Flame. Wait, what? But, Maud, you already have a boyfriend. Not that I'm jealous or anything. 
It's quite obvious that me and Mudbriar aren't going to make it. It's clear that we're not going to be going to the next level anytime soon. Because practically, he's just into sticks. And everybody knows that sticks and rocks do not get along. But, have you ever heard of the phrase, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Wait a minute. Flame, you heard all that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I, uh, came back down here to get my, uh, ring satchel. But, yeah, I heard everything. Maud, you like me? Yes, I do. I was actually really, really impressed that you broke that rock all with one punch. Yeah, <laughs> something told me that this was going to be happening. Well, Maud, to tell you the truth, I think you are really amazing too. I mean, I witnessed some of your rock busting over the years. I witnessed your rock busting. Oh, really? How? And you just met me yesterday. Well... Pinky, she showed me some clips. She showed me some clips of uh, you and your rock work. Because if I remember correctly, <laughs> you're an expert when it comes to rocks. You're an expert when it comes to rocks. You're also really good at rock busting. And not only that, I remember when I remembered when Pinky was in trouble and you actually saved her. You actually saved her from almost being crushed by a giant rock. You literally ran through an entire obstacle course just to get to Pinkie Pie and bu and blast that whole boulder into into pebbles and dust. That was really impressive, wasn't it? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I have not seen anybody. I have not seen any pony do that before. That is really, really impressive, Maud. I'm glad you like it. Now for the big question. I'm not normally the one to start this, but can I ask you something? Uh, sure. What's up? Do you like me back? Like the same way how I like you? Uh... Okay, let me just tell you the truth. Yes, I do. To tell you the truth, you are one of the ponies that I actually did have a crush on a few years ago. But I thought to myself, you were a little bit, I don't know, standard. Like, you know, liking rocks and studying rocks and all that other stuff. But then again, you and I, we do have a lot in common because I know a thing or two about rocks. And I'm really good at busting up rocks, <laughs> as you can see. And one other thing that you probably don't know about me is that I can actually move rocks with my mind. What? Yeah, it's a special martial art called earthbending. It's a special type of martial art called earthbending. It's when we can move the rocks around us. It's when we can move the rock, it's when I can move the earth that we walk on. It's quite interesting. And there's also a special type of earthbending that most people don't really get, but I learned it. It's called metal bending. Metal bending? Yeah, it's when we can... Okay, you see, as we all know, metal is actually made out of different components. And inside each component is basically a rock. So we're basically bending the rock inside of metal. It's quite interesting. Because there are lots of different bending techniques that I learned. Like there's water bending, where I can actually bend water where I can move water. <laughs> then there's also air bending, where I can bend the air. It's uh, quite cool. And there's also fire bending. <laughs> I mean, it's when, you know, I can control fire. I practically had that down because my name is Flame the Dragon Hog. <laughs> anyway, there's also special types of uh, bending. There's also special types of bending that can easily, you know, uh, is really interesting. Like for water bending, there's not that much that people can do. It's there's actually something called blood bending. It's when we can bend the water inside of people. We and we can make and we can basically move them like a puppet. That's a little bit scary. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why it's forbidden from any other people. Trust me, it's really bad. And like I said, for earth bending, there's metal bending. <laughs> 
And for fire bending, you can also control lightning. What the heck does lightning and fire have to do with this? Well, well, believe it or not, well, believe it or not, um, lightning is actually known as breathable fire. It's actually known as the breathing fire. So it's a whole lot more easier for firebenders to uh, bend, fi bend lightning. But not that many firebenders can actually bend fire, can bend lightning like that. It's not easy. And it takes a lot of skill and effort to bend lightning. Ugh, it's definitely really hard, but only some skilled firebenders that I know actually can bend lightning. Ugh, well, that's all that I know about the uh, firebending and earthbending and airbending and all that other stuff. So basically, I can practically control any element. I can even control, I can even control plants and I can even control ice and all sorts of stuff. It's really interesting, really. Flame. You really are something. <laughs> yeah, I really am, aren't I? Okay, well, to answer... Okay, but anyway, uh, Mod, to answer your question from earlier, like I said, do I, do you like, do I like you the way you like me? To, to tell you the truth, yes. You really are really nice and sweet. Even though that, you know, <laughs> you prefer rocks over other ponies, but you are really amazing. But what about you and Mudbriar? But what about you and Mudbriar? That's why I'm all guess that's why I'm all gussied up like this. I'm gonna take him out one last time and then we're going to break up. Oh, well I guess that's the end of a uh, nice long relationship, huh? It wasn't really that long. Oh? How long were you how long were you together? For like two months. Oh, two months? Well, that's definitely something. Plus, we don't really spend much time together. After all, he is always leaving without no explanation. Oh. Oh. So what you're saying is, he sometimes doesn't tell you anything about where he's going and all that stuff? No, he doesn't. Oh. Well, I guess. Anyway... Anyway, Maud, so what do you want to do? I heard around Mobius that you actually have a harem, and I want to join. Whoa, what? Yes, I want to join your harem. Wait a minute, hold up, Maud, hold up. I'm already part of Flame's harem, so do you think it's safe for my sister to join too, Flame? Well, you'd be surprised how many, uh... What type of girls I have in uh, <laughs> my harem? I have I have uh, sisters. I have sisters. I have mothers and daughters. It's uh, quite crazy. Uh, I really do have that effect on people and ponies. Well, I wonder if your EG counterparts actually have the same affection on me. <laughs> Let's just hope that they don't. Uh, be surprised. You and the EG version of Rarity are really close. That's only because we're interested in clothes, okay? Uh, let's just hope that she actually doesn't fall in love with me or anything. Let's just hope not. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, uh, flamethrowers, I'm actually going to be uh, talking over here. Let's just say the EG version of the ponies, they actually do like me a whole lot. It's uh, complicated. It's complicated. But the main girls that really do like me a lot is mainly uh, the EG version of Rarity and Sunset Shimmer. That's like the only two that they like that, that like me, okay? That's like the only two. The others, I don't know. But anyway, back to this. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that little sidebar, ladies. But uh, so, might as well get breakfast started. Might as well get breakfast started. So, what are we having? Rocks. All we have is rocks. Oh, well... In that case, give me one moment, Pinky. Do you know where... Oh, yeah, I know where it is. Okay, here, come with me, Pinky. <laughs> Chaos Control. <laughs> uh, what the heck just happened? Flame teleported. It's a special ability that he has. 
It's called chaos control. It's where he can teleport anywhere. Hmm, that's quite interesting. <laughs> ah, okay, we're back. We're back. What is those? They're eggs. I mean, I'm pretty sure you know what eggs are, right? Yeah, we know what eggs are, but what are you gonna do with them? Well, I was thinking maybe we can make scrambled eggs for you guys. Don't tell me you can cook, too. Yeah, I'm actually a great cook. I'm actually a great cook. <laughs> well, well, um, it is really nice. I really do like cooking for my friends. I like cooking for my friends because I can easily bake a cake and all that stuff. I can bake cakes, cookies, brownies, whatever you want. My special is desserts anyway. See, this is the reason why I like you a lot, Flame. You're just like me. <laughs> yeah, but there is one thing that I can't do that you can. And that would be... Plan one heck of a party. Yeah, nobody can, nobody can plan a party like me. Well, except for maybe Cheese Sandwich, but I haven't seen him in a long while. Yeah, I haven't seen Cheese... I, yeah, I haven't seen Cheese Sandwich in a long while. Who's Cheese Sandwich? Oh, he's another party planning pony. He's another party planning pony that, you know, actually ticked off Pinkie Pie to the point where she actually told him off and they ended up having a goof off to see who can actually plan Rainbow Dash's birthday party. <laughs> And Pinky, she ended up losing. What? But nobody can plan a party like Pinky. Well, you'd be surprised what Cheese Sandwich can do. You'd be surprised. Yeah, but in the end, we both came really good friends, and we combined our forces and threw Rainbow Dash the best birthday party ever. <laughs> yeah, I remember being invited to that birthday party. It was awesome. I remember being invited to that party. It was pretty cool. Man, Rainbow Dash really was going nuts. Well, it was her party. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah, well, again, I guess you might as well, I might as well get to work making this stuff. Okay, anyway, let's see. You guys sit in the, you guys sit in the living room. You guys sit in the living room, and I'll let you guys know when breakfast is ready. Okay. Oh, and, uh, one other thing. Uh, I better make some breakfast for your parents. I better make some breakfast for your parents, and, uh, just in case they show up a little bit too early. Just in case they show up early. I don't think they will. Well, okay, I guess breakfast for you four, I guess. Yeah, hey, Flame? Yeah, Limestone? I know we got off on the wrong foot here, but I'm glad you actually did spend the night here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you know, I'm glad that I can uh, spend the night here with you guys. It is really cool. That is, until I can find a way to get back to Mobius without Chaos, because, you know, I just used Chaos Control, and now I can't use it for a little while. I can't use it for a little while. And I can't use my other ability called Instant Transmission back to Mobius. I can't do that because in order for me to do that, I have to lock on to a Mobian's uh, energy to, to, to teleport me to them. But sadly, there isn't any Mobians around, so... Yeah, this is just definitely crazy. Ugh. But anyway, I guess I might have to have the meeting here. Ah, uh, what meeting? Well, didn't Pinky tell you? Pinky is actually... Your world is going to be a uh, whole planet out here. So that way, you guys can... So that way, we can be uh, planet neighbors. And you guys can come and visit me on Mobius anytime you like. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Yep. But how the world are we going to do that? Because, you know, we can't travel through space without, you know... Lack of oxygen and, you know, us freezing in the void of space. Well, don't worry. I already have that covered. I already talked to a friend of mine by the name of Steven Universe. He actually has a, he actually has a way to teleport through planets. And that would be... Through warp pads! Through warp pads. They're basically teleportation devices where they can just zip you across the planet, zip you across... Uh, the Milky Way, and, well, not Milky Way, it can zip, it can zip you to any place that has another warp pad, so that way you guys can teleport wherever you want. 
Hmm, quite interesting. Yeah, but here's the thing about those warp pads. They're pretty tricky. You gotta make sure that there's a warp pad in the place where you're going. Because warp pads, they just don't teleport you to places where they don't have a warp pad. It's uh, pretty crazy. But anyway, um, but anyway, <sighs> um, you guys head in the living room. I'll make breakfast. And Maud? Yes, Flame? Good luck with your breakup with Mudbriar, all right? All right. And maybe you can make room for me? Of course. I'll try. As long as Pinky, as long as I look after you and Pinky. Yeah, trust me. Flame has taken really good care of us. Flame has taken really good care of us. It's really crazy, but yeah. Well, thanks, Flame. And... Would you mind being in the background of my date with Mudbriar, just in case he doesn't believe me or anything? Sure, why not? Uh, tell me something. Is, uh, Mudbriar violent? No, he's not. He just takes things as it is. Oh. Well, I guess, uh, we'll get started on breakfast. You guys head on in there. I'll call you when breakfast is done girls. This is definitely going to be interesting. Yeah, you can say that again. You're breaking up with Mudbriar to go with him. And to tell you the truth, I don't blame you. Come on, girls. Let's just wait for breakfast, okay? Yeah, Marble's right. Uh, I can't believe I'm about to do this with Mudbriar. It's really nice.